Have you ever wondered how your heart tirelessly works every day? It's a question that's worth pondering. The heart, the body's most vital muscle, is a marvel of nature and engineering. It's more than just a pump, it's a master of rhythm and resilience, a tireless worker and a key player in the symphony of life. This incredible organ, about the size of your fist, sits snugly in your chest, diligently pumping life-giving blood throughout your body. Imagine it like the conductor of an orchestra, setting the tempo for the rest of your body's functions. It beats about 100,000 times a day, propelling nearly 2,000 gallons of blood daily, delivering oxygen and nutrients to every cell, and removing waste products. The heart structure is as fascinating as its function. It's composed of four chambers. The right atrium and right ventricle work together to collect oxygen depleted blood and send it to the lungs for a fresh supply of oxygen. Meanwhile, the left atrium and left ventricle receive this oxygen oxygen rich blood and pump it to the rest of the body. A network of electrical impulses controls each heartbeat, ensuring the heart maintains a steady rhythm. This rhythm allows the heart to contract and relax, pushing blood through the chambers and out to the body. It's a dance that's as intricate as it is essential. The heart's resilience is equally remarkable. It begins to beat at around three weeks after conception and doesn't stop until our final breath. It's a muscle that doesn't rest, doesn't tire and doesn't give up. It's a a constant companion, a silent hero, working behind the scenes to keep us alive and well. But like any hero, the heart needs care and attention. It thrives on a balanced diet, regular exercise, and a healthy lifestyle. It's a muscle that rewards care with endurance, strength, and longevity. Without the heart, life as we know it would be impossible. So let's take a moment to marvel at this extraordinary organ and appreciate the vital role it plays in our lives. Let's take care of our hearts, for they in turn take care of us. So what exactly does your heart do? Well, this muscular organ, about the size of your clenched fist, is a true powerhouse. It's a relentless machine, pumping blood tirelessly, day in and day out, without ever taking a break. Imagine that your heart's primary job is to circulate blood throughout your body. This blood carries oxygen and essential nutrients to every cell, from the tip of your nose to the end of your little toe. It's like a delivery service, ensuring that every part of your body gets what it needs to function properly. But the heart doesn't stop there. It also plays a crucial role in waste management. The blood that returns to the heart carries carbon dioxide and other waste products from the body's cells. The heart then sends this blood to the lungs where it swaps carbon dioxide for fresh oxygen. It's like a recycling system that's constantly in motion. And let's not forget your heart doesn't work alone. It's in perfect harmony with other organs like the lungs and the brain. The lungs supply oxygen to the blood and the brain the brain sends signals that control the heart speed. It's a beautiful symphony of organs working together to keep you alive and well. But the heart's role extends beyond physical function. It's a symbol of our emotions, our courage, our love. When we're scared, it races. When we're calm, it slows. It beats in rhythm with our feelings, connecting our bodies and minds in a profound way. Now just think about this for a moment. Your heart started beating before you were born and it will keep beating as long as you live. It works every second of every minute of every day, pushing millions of gallons of blood throughout your life. It's truly a marvel of nature, a testament to the intricate and miraculous design of the human body. So when you think about your heart, remember all it does for you. Remember the vital role it plays in your existence and remember to take care of it because without it, life simply wouldn't be possible. Indeed, the heart's role in our body is indispensable. Ever wondered how your heart keeps its rhythm? This is no simple beat, but a highly coordinated symphony performed by your body's own electrical system. Picture a pacemaker, not the artificial kind, but a natural one nestled within your heart's right atrium. This is your sinoatrial node, the maestro of your heart's rhythm. It fires off an electrical impulse, like a conductor's baton initiating the orchestra. This impulse travels through pathways in your heart, causing it to contract and pump blood. It's a rhythm as steady and constant as the ticking of a clock. But have you ever felt your heart skip a beat or race like a sprinter? These are arrhythmias, disruptions in your heart's electrical system. But don't fret, most are harmless just your heart performing a little jazz improvisation. So let's marvel at this intricate system, this symphony within us, keeping us alive one beat at a time. The heart's rhythm is a testament to its intricate design and function. 
But what happens when the heart encounters problems? The heart, while a marvel of nature, is not invincible. It can be affected by a variety of diseases and conditions that can disrupt its rhythm, impede its function and threaten our overall health. Let's delve into some of the most common threats to this vital organ. Firstly, we have coronary artery disease. This condition arises when the major blood vessels supplying the heart with blood, oxygen and nutrients become damaged or diseased. This can lead to chest pain, shortness of breath and if left unchecked can result in a heart attack. Next, there is heart failure, a condition where the heart can't pump blood as well as it should. This can be caused by numerous factors including coronary artery disease, high blood pressure or heart valve disease. Symptoms can include fatigue fatigue, shortness of breath and swelling in the legs and ankles. Arrhythmia or irregular heart rhythm is another common heart condition. It occurs when the electrical impulses that coordinate your heart's beats aren't working properly. This can cause your heart to beat too fast, too slow or irregularly. This irregularity can be harmless or it can be life-threatening. Then there's valvular heart disease. This occurs when one or more of the heart's four valves don't function correctly. A faulty valve can disrupt blood flow through the heart, leading to a variety of symptoms and potentially serious complications. And let's not forget about hypertension, commonly known as high blood pressure. This silent killer can damage the heart over time without causing any noticeable symptoms. Left untreated, it can lead to heart disease and stroke. These conditions, among others, can seriously affect the heart's function and the overall health of an individual. They can cause a wide range of symptoms, from fatigue and shortness of breath to chest pain and palpitations. If left untreated, they can result in serious complications, including heart attack and stroke. Taking care of the heart, therefore, becomes a matter of utmost importance. It's crucial that we make heart health a priority, not just for ourselves, but for our loved ones as well. How can you nourish your heart? This question is crucial to our overall health and well-being. It's not just about feeding the body, it's also about feeding the heart, that tireless engine pumping life through our veins every moment of every day. We often hear about foods that are good for the heart, but what does that really mean? Essentially, a heart-healthy diet involves consuming foods that contribute to the well-being of our cardiovascular system. These foods contain nutrients that help lower cholesterol, regulate blood pressure, and reduce inflammation. Let's start with fruits and vegetables. They're packed with vitamins, minerals, and fiber, which help to lower the risk of heart disease. Think vibrant reds, deep purples, bright oranges, and lush greens. The more colorful your plate, the more heart-healthy the antioxidants you're getting. Whole grains are another heart healthy choice. Foods like oatmeal, brown rice and whole grain bread are rich in dietary fiber that helps to lower bad cholesterol levels. Let's not forget about lean proteins. Fish, especially fatty ones like salmon and mackerel, are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. These fats are beneficial for heart health as they help reduce inflammation and lower the risk of stroke. On the flip side, there are foods that we should limit or avoid. Processed foods high in salt and unhealthy fats can raise blood pressure and cholesterol levels, putting undue stress on our hearts. Trans fats found in many fried and baked goods can increase your risk of developing heart disease by raising your bad cholesterol levels and lowering uh, your good cholesterol levels. So while that donut might look tempting, it's not doing your heart any favors. In the end, nourishing our hearts is about making wise food choices. It's about favoring fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean proteins while limiting processed foods, saturated fats and sugars. Remember, every bite you take is a step towards health or illness. Make those steps count. Choose nourishment over indulgence. Choose life over convenience. A heart-healthy diet is a step towards a healthier life. What role does exercise play in maintaining heart health, you might ask? Well, let's delve into that. Exercise is a fantastic ally for our heart, acting as a powerful deterrent against heart disease. When we engage in physical activity, it's like taking our heart out for a joyride. It revs up pumping blood more efficiently, which in turn reduces the pressure on the artery 
arteries. This is a process that over time can lower your blood pressure and reduce the risk of heart related issues. Regular exercise also assists in controlling weight, another crucial factor in heart health. The more weight we carry, the harder our heart must work to supply blood to all our tissues. By keeping our weight in check, we make the heart's job a little easier. Now you might be thinking, but what do you not but what exercises should I do? The good news is there are plenty of options that can help. Let's run through a few. Aerobic exercises, also known as cardio, are great for your heart. These include activities like walking, running, cycling or swimming. They get your heart rate up and keep it there for a period of time, which is exactly what we want. Strength training such as weightlifting or bodyweight exercises can also support heart health. While it may not get your heart rate up as much as cardio, it helps lower body fat, control weight and can even reduce the risk of heart disease. Stretching and flexibility exercises are often overlooked but they help maintain a healthy vascular system which is vital for heart health. Yoga and Pilates are excellent examples. Lastly, high intensity interval training or HIIT for short combines aerobic and strength training in short powerful bursts. HIIT workouts can be highly effective for heart health. Remember it's important to find an exercise routine that you enjoy and can stick with. Consistency is key. Mix it up, keep it fun and your heart will thank you. Regular exercise is key to keeping your heart in top shape. So let's get moving. How often should you check on your heart's health? This is a question we should all ask ourselves, not just once, but regularly. It's a question that can make a significant difference in our lives. Our heart is the engine that keeps us running and just like a car, it needs regular maintenance. Regular checkups are vital to ensuring that this engine keeps beating strong and steady. It's not just about preventing diseases, but about maintaining a good quality of life. Regular checkups allow us to detect potential problems early on when they are easier to manage and treat. Heart screening are a crucial part of these checkups. They can include tests like blood pressure measurements, cholesterol level checks and electrocardiograms. These tests help to identify risk factors and detect heart diseases in their early stages. They are simple, quick and can provide invaluable information about our heart's health. But it's not just about what happens in the doctor's office. We should also be mindful of our heart's health on a day-to-day -day basis. Monitoring our heart health includes being aware of our body and understanding the signs it gives us. Shortness of breath, chest pains, lightheadedness and fatigue can all be indicators of a heart problem. If we experience these symptoms, it's important to seek medical advice promptly. Not all heart problems come with clear warning signs. Some heart symptoms don't even happen in your chest. And and it's not always easy to tell what's going on. That's why regular checkups are so crucial. They provide an opportunity to catch heart diseases before they become serious. Remember, heart diseases are the leading cause of death worldwide, but they are also among the most preventable. Regular checkups, heart screenings and monitoring can make all the difference. They can help us live longer, healthier and happier lives. So let's not take our hearts for granted. Let's give them the care they deserve. Let's make heart health checkups a priority. Regular our checkups can save your life and that's a fact worth taking to heart why is the heart so crucial to us this seemingly simple question is packed with profound answers we've journeyed together through the fascinating world of the heart unveiling its marvels exploring its roles and understanding its rhythm we've acknowledged the threats it faces and highlighted the ways we can nourish it exercise it and keep it in check now let's bring it all together and truly comprehend the heart's significance the heart is not just an organ it's a tireless workhorse beating approximately 100 thousand times every single day. It's an intricate pump, propelling blood loaded with oxygen and nutrients to every cell in our body. It's the rhythm, the pulse of life. But the heart is vulnerable too. Threats like unhealthy diets, sedentary lifestyles and unchecked stress can weaken it, potentially leading to dire consequences. That's why it's so vital to nourish our hearts with a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains. We've also learned that the heart thrives on movement, regular exercise, whether it's a brisk walk, a vigorous dance session or a calming yoga routine helps strengthen the heart and improve its efficiency. Moreover, we've emphasized the importance of regular heart health checks. These checks act as our first line of defense, helping us catch potential issues early and take appropriate action. 
In essence, the heart is a reflection of our overall health and well-being. It's a dynamic mirror reflecting our lifestyle choices and habits. It tells a story, our story. Our heart's health is not just about preventing disease or prolonging life. It's about enhancing the quality of our life. It's about having the energy to chase our dreams, the vitality to enjoy every moment and the resilience to bounce back from challenges. So let's honor our hearts. Let's treat them with the respect and care they deserve because they're not just pumping blood, they're pumping life. Taking care of your heart means taking care of your life.